All right, so today we're measuring liquid volume. So like water, uh, different types of liquids, all right? We're gonna use blue food coloring to dye our water to see our graduated cylinders later in class. But today, this is the graduated cylinder we're gonna use. So, if I have a graduated cylinder, the most it can hold is the top line that it says. Usually there's space above it so that nothing spills out. But today, our maximum volume is 60 milliliters. And in volume, we use liters for liquid volume. Um, the most common unit we're going to use is the milliliter. All right, that's the smallest unit we're going to use. This graduated cylinder goes by marked graduations of 10 milliliters, and then individual graduations of one milliliter. So this is 40 milliliters, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 milliliters. It's single graduations. Now, if we were to read what line this level was at. We need to make sure that we use the lowest part, all right? All right, so when you read the liquid, you want to read it to the lowest point, which is called the meniscus. You want to make sure that your eye is at the level of the meniscus, all right? When you read this, you know that the 40 is here. You go up five lines, 45, then you count individual graduations. 41, or 46, 47, 48, 49, and 49 is right here, 50 is here, so you know it's somewhere in between 49 and 50, however, it's lower than halfway, so this is going to be 49.3 milliliters, alright, because it's not on a line, you need the decimal point, so it's 49.3 milliliters. And that's how you read a graduated cylinder.